it's, it's just been great for me. Cars, jewelry. What up, y'all, man? Welcome to another episode of ATV, a visual vehicle. And I'm sitting here with one of the legends in the hip-hop game, Mr. Master Ace. What up, Ace? What's going on? Man, I'm good, man. How you doing, man? I'm good, man. I'm all great. right? I'm great. Welcome to ATV, first of all, man. We're going to get right to it. First of all, thank you for jumping on the album. He's definitely on the album, ladies and gentlemen. The Mr. Do It album. It's Crazy. It's official. It's official. Ace. Now, I've, I've asked a lot of people different questions on ATV, but since you come from one of the premier hip-hop crews in hip-hop, and I don't know why, to me, y'all go down as the, the number one hip-hop crew of all times, and that's the Juice Crew. Being part of that crew, what do you feel about who you think is the hot hip-hop crew besides, give me your top five hip-hop crews of all time. Top five crews of all time. All right. times. Um, definitely Wu Tang. Wu Tang. Big up to the Wu. You know, um, gotta say Death Squad. They 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 killed it for a minute. You know, Eric Sermon, Keith from Mary Red Man, that whole clique. Um, Flavor Unit to mm. me was a, was a was a crazy crew. You know, from Lock T Four all the way down, Lock Kim Shabazz. I mean, that that whole crew was crazy. Forty Five King. I'm gonna say NWA. Wow. Because so much came out of that camp. I mean, if you count the 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 extension of Death Row and 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 Dre and Snoop and all of the artists that was extended from that, you know, um, I kind of feel like you know NWA branched off into a lot of different things. Um, I and the Juice Crew, I guess that'd be the fifth one. Yeah, man. Yeah. Now, now being a hip hop artist, a legendary hip hop artist coming from a, mo a powerful hip-hop crew as the Juice Crew, doing your solo projects. What is the difference from then and now? Um, for you, for Master Ace as an artist? I think back know? then, I was, I was really, it was important for me to prove myself. You know, I was on the label with some of the biggest names in hip-hop, Big Daddy Kane, MC Shan, Cool G Rap, you know what I'm saying, Biz Markey, Roxanne Shante, and these people, you know, were well respected in the industry, had great talent, had big records, and I was in a position of having to prove myself, prove my worth to the label. Um, and I spent the early part of my career just really trying to prove that I belonged. You know, mm -hmm. um, I was probably the least known of everybody that was in that camp, and um, and I was one of the only cats that really wasn't from Queens. Me and Kane was. Only two that was. Everybody else was from Queens. We was from Brooklyn. Yeah. So it was a lot of proving going on in the early days. Um, now I feel like I've gotten beyond having to prove myself and feel like I can, I've can. i kind of found my lane, my zone, and, and I kind of stay where I'm at and do my thing my way, and everybody else does their thing their way. But, um, you know, I've reached a level where I'm comfortable doing what I do now. Oh, that's what it is. What's going, with, going on with Master Ace? As a man right now and as an artist. Well, um, as an artist, I'm I'm almost finished with this project with Ed OG. You know, me and Ed OG. Hot project too, yo. We formed a group. We formed a group called A and E, uh, and we dropped in 2009, early 2009. Um, you know, we got Daylight on the album. We got Do It All. Yeah, yeah. On I'm the on album, that. you know, we got KRS on the album. A um, couple other, a couple other surprises coming through, but um. That's that's the next big project, you know. Um, the label M3 Records, we in the process of, you know, nailing down distribution. We talking to a couple of different companies, trying to find the right fit for our company moving forward. Um, and then, you know, we got the Wordsworth album coming real soon. What up, Words? Strickland album coming real soon. Strick. Um, and for those that know about the EMC group, which is myself, Punchline, Strickland, and Wordsworth. We got that second EMC album, all of that, you know, slated for 2009, so get ready for it. Word. It's crazy, man. Would you explain to the ATV viewers out there what what life is like on the road overseas? I mean, um, for an artist like me who's been out since, you know, the early 90s, it's, um, 
it's been the lifeblood really for me um, because they don't they don't turn their backs on artists who came out in the early 90s they still embrace as long as you're still doing good music quality I mean they love your old stuff but if you're doing good music still they still want to embrace you in the states it's really about the flavor of that month or the flavor of that year whoever's hot that year the next hot cat we in the states we always looking for the next hot cat overseas they looking for the next hot cat but they want they still care about the cat that was hot last year or two years ago or ten years ago right. so um you know I've, I've had the opportunity to to be back and forth overseas several times a year you know doing doing 30 day tours and 40 day tours and doing 25 to 35 shows a run um, and hit some of the biggest festivals. We did we did the Splash Festival a couple times. Mm -hmm. We've done Hip Hop Camp several hip -hop times. Hip Hop Camp, big up to all the Hip Hop you know, Campers. We've done Aarhus Took It. You know what I'm saying? And those are those are festivals that have anywhere from fifteen thousand to forty thousand people watching your show. Um, and you know they don't have those type of festivals popping off too crazy in the states. So it's it's just been great for me. Um, a person that's at, at the point I am in my career to be able to go back and forth overseas and get that and get that other money. That euro is strong. Oof, that stronger than the dollar. Strong. Big up to Karen too over there, man. Karen Ooh. sabotage, good Ooh. looking. Sabotage. They book a lot of. They keep a lot of American artists paid overseas. Berlin. Big up to Yannick. Um, big up to my man Kenneth Casper. All of them. Everybody baseline. All of them who keep us. You know, keep getting that euro, keep bringing that guap back home. Before we wrap it up, man, for the AT viewers, ATV viewers out there, if there's one thing that you had to tell a young dude that's getting into the game right now, what would that be? I mean, I always say be yourself. Um, it's, it's real easy in hip-hop to kind of follow the formula of other successful artists to look at what's on the charts and then try to become that or create that in yourself. Um, and it just never works that way. You know, um, the, the, the most successful projects are from cats that have found kind of their own sound, their own message, their own way of doing it, and have just, just, just been themselves in their music. You know, don't try to create this drug dealer persona if you're not that. Don't try to create this thug persona if that's not what you are because at some point that's going to get tested you know stop wearing the fake chains yeah. if they're not real and you can't afford them yet stop wearing the fake chains yeah. how about don't don't rap about your chain and your, and your <laughs> platinum and your and your bentley and your and your maserati if that's not what you're really driving come on because it's i hear 16 17 year old kids and they verses rhyming about you know cars and jewelry and they living with their mother knock it off stop mm -hmm. that stop it stop it <laughs> just just be yourself you know if you're 16 year old kid in high school rap about that there's a you if you nice you can you can make that sound great mm -hmm. tell your story let us know about yourself don't need to follow behind whoever's successful don't try to be the next little wayne be you checking out atv man you know how we do it with your visual vehicle, I'm chilling with the legend, Mr. Cause I, appro I, I address all of the legends appropriately. So, Mr. Did y'all hear what I said, man? Mr. Master Ace. Thank you, man. Thanks for being here, ATV, man. ATV. You know how we do it, man. I'ma holler at y'all in a minute, man. We gonna get back to recording this banger for y'all. Yo, what's up, y'all? This is Master Ace, Brooklyn, New York, EMC Crew, A&E Crew, Juice Crew, 2009. You checking out ATV Video. Check us out here. Real Hip Hop is always on ATV. Good morning, good evening, good night. Hey, Shot Television. Make sure they have the right vision.